Oh wow, now that's got a kick. <laughs> it's breakfast time. <laughs> Here we are. Some dinner. We're good to go. Yeah, we are filming this before midday. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I think someone's called the police and said there's two naughty elves boozing in the woods. <laughs> Everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I'm joined by Luke again. Hello. And we're back with a absolute Christmas classic. It's a tradition for us now, isn't it? I feel like it's Christmas. It's so exciting. Christmas is starting right here because we are doing our Christmas cocktails. Whoop, whoop. For the third year running, is it? Third year in a row. I've got to end this now, and I think I can string a sentence together. Mm. Just a splash. Mm. Very nice. Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, we don't disappoint. No. We like to <laughs> we like to keep tradition and we're gonna be making three Christmas cocktails for you this year. All new. We've never yes. done any of these before, have we? No, absolutely not. They're delicious though. Excellent stuff. So very excited. We're gonna get a bit tipsy. Things can get very merry around here. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe for new videos every week. And head over to Luke's channel because over there we are gonna be doing some Christmas gift wrapping hacks for you. Really good, really simple, and um, we had a bit, a bit of fun doing it. We did, we? yeah. Had a lovely time. Lovely. Um, right, so cheeky elf hats are on because we're in the naughty mood. I love these hats. He's already had a few. Yeah. <laughs> Little fella down there is a bit. He's a bit squiffy. Yeah. Right. What are we, what are we starting with? I was about to say, should we talk through what we're going to do? Because yeah. um, I know people do sometimes like to make these along at home. Yeah. Um, I'm presuming we're going to be leaving the list of... Yeah, I'll put all the ingredients and the instructions down in the description box for you as well. Lovely. It's tricky so, to see. I know that we're a bit dappled. Yes. But we're just working with what we can. We are. At the current time. We're currently outdoors. Out in the woods, <laughs> so, as um, you can see. Ex well, exactly. And also because um, I'm, I'm making two drinks. I'm making four in total so you can have one. But we will just be passing it over to keep the distance so we, we're keeping all that in mind we've got That's our right. bar trays at the ready excellent <laughs> so the first cocktail we're going to be making is a twist on the french 75 um, which is traditionally lemon juice champagne and gin we're going to be Ooh. doing like a lemon and elderflower vodka champagne prosecco wow. so it's going to be a bit of a twist but it's really tasty when are we thinking this is for i like to set the scene you do yes. and i feel like it helps so this would be a really good one if you're i know obviously given current circumstances maybe if you're having some people round your yes, house in your bubble yeah exactly i'd say this is more like a christmas eve tipple nice just because it's really classy you serve them in lovely coops like this you can imagine someone's like a lovely cocktail dress or a little suit it's just really fancy and then the second one we're going to be doing is an Italian classic twist on the Negroni and it's a Negroni Spagliato which is um, a mix of Campari which we are both a fan of love Campari Martini Rosso which is a lovely red vermouth yeah and then we're also just going to be topping that up with dry Prosecco so it's ah. a twist on the classic but you can make this as in a jug and you can literally just leave it out on the side. So this would be good for Christmas day. Yeah. You can literally just pop it on the side, pour it in a glass. Keep and you're going back. Yeah. I mean, after Keep two or two or three of these, and you're yeah. probably be on the floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> be strong, aren't they? Yeah. Cool. What are you making? So I'm going to be making a seg segne. I'm not sure how you say this actually. It's a cognac, basically. Gorgeous. So this is a French cognac, and I'm going to be making a little fizz with this. We're going to be going in with some sugar syrup and some prosecco. You can use champagne as well if you're feeling fancy. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that sounds like a bit of me. I love a cognac. Yeah. Very nice. I feel like this might be. I mean, I feel like this could work at all times of day actually. <laughs> Breakfast, Christmas morning, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need scenes here, guys. No. We're just going to go straight in. Right, who wants to kick off? Um, you start, because you've sure? got two to do. <laughs> okay, right, we're going to go in for a cocktail shaker for the first one. So, ooh, let me just sit up. Oh, there we go. Hello. So, um, dead easy. Hello. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Do you want a cocktail? Yeah. <laughs> um, dead easy for this one. We're going to start off with some absolute vanilla... The crows want some. <laughs> Lads, you gotta wait. <laughs> We're gonna start off with some absolute vanilla vodka. Like I say, traditional the French 75 uses gin, but I like this just with a bit of vodka. I think it just gives it a bit more of a kick. Vodka and San Germain's like a dream. So we're adding two double measures into that and a splash for good and Merry Ooh, Christmas. Steady um, now. Steady on. And then what we're gonna go in with is San Germain liqueur. Look how gorgeous that bottle is. That is Isn't beautiful. That Hello, there's a cat. Got a mate here. Oh my Look who's goodness! Who's coming to say hi? Do you oh, want a drink? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're lovely. Oh, what? You're very nimble. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, you are beautiful. Oh. Do you like cognac? 
I'm honestly, I'm in, I'm in love. Um, yes, so then we're going to go in for this wonderful Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. It's gorgeous, it's from um, France. Oh, the cat wants to get involved as well. And it's just really, really lovely. So we're going to do a 50ml measure of that. Just take a little bit down further up. There we go. Um, so 25 in each, 50 in total. That's perfect. <laughs> Um, you would usually shake this with ice, but as we currently are in the wilderness, it's pretty cold out here. So we're just going to give that a little bit of a bit of a shake, bit of a bit of a shimmy, um, you know, all the good stuff. And then just twist the top off, and then we're just going to pour that into these champagne coupes here, Ooh. which are really nice. These got an orange segment in them as well. You can do lemon if you'd prefer. We're just going to do a little jug in each, equal measures I'd say in each of the glasses, like so. Perfect. Cocktail shaker out the way, and then prosecco. Usually you would use champagne, yeah. but um, I'm cheap. <laughs> I think it's fine, you know, a bit of fizz in a cocktail, I don't think it really matters, does it? And there'll be some cocktail purists out there that'll disagree with that. Completely yeah. disagree with that. But I am 100% in the greens. Anything yeah. sparkling, we're absolutely laughing yeah, at. Yeah, Prosecco, Carver, whatever takes your fancy. Well, exactly. I'm going to be cautious of how I'm popping this because I know we are. I don't want to take a bird out. I mean, I love champagne so much. Woo! That's the sound we like. That's the sound we like. You're <laughs> in it. I love champagne so much that I kind of don't want to change the flavour of it. I'm often. totally agree. So I'll, if I have champagne, I like to just drink it. I could not agree more. Pretty much honestly. as is. I think with one of those things, um, the more you spend on champagne, you just want to have it neat, yeah. don't you? Whereas this is like, I think this is like tenner in um, Tesco. Um, right, so that. that's one. Oh, it looks fab. It's really nice. It's just more like a hint to Christmas because you've got the lovely lemon in there, but with a bit of prosecco. I'm absolutely laughing. So. Let me, um, where's the service tray, sir? There it is. Love it. Right. Oh, so, I'm going to pop Ewan's twist on a French 75. There we are, sir. Merry Thank Christmas. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Cheers. All, all the joy. Here we are. Cheers, everyone. And, um, yes, I'm going to have mine here. Chin chin. First, Cheers. easy, very, very tasty cocktail. Let's get involved. Ooh. What do you think of that? Oh, wow. Now that's got a kick. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Oh, yes. That but is lovely. It's a bit sweet. Yeah. But with the dryness of the Prosecco, it kind of balances it out. I like that. Mm. Mm. You could just quite easily sip that and be yeah. well on your way, couldn't you? That's, oh yeah, you would be well on your way. A couple of these. Chin chin. Steady on. <laughs> Ingredients will be linked down below. I'm sure yep. you and will um, write them down and I'll send them over all mm. of the um, measurements. Right, would you like to crack them with yours? Absolutely. I'm just going to sit back and drink. <laughs> so for this one, we're going to use a cocktail shaker as well. Mm. So I've got my mini one on the go here. Let's check that that's, yeah, I did wash it. <laughs> check there's no spiders in it. <laughs> I did wash it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some of the cognac. So you're going with 25 mil per person. Lovely. We'll do that first of all. Lovely bottle again, this, isn't it? Really nice. Really nice. So we're going with two measures of the cognac. And whatever measure you've gone for with the cognac, you then want to take half that amount and go in with some fresh lemon juice. Ooh, you can just lovely. squeeze that straight in. So I'm just going to guess this because I'm reckoning that a lemon will be equating to about that. But yeah. it's 12.5 mil per person if you've gone for a 25 mil measure. So you just pop that in as well. I love lemon juice. I think in a cocktail it's lovely. Like any lemon flavours. Yeah. Lovely. Makes it nice and a bit tart. Ooh! <laughs> we love a good tart. <laughs> And then to balance out the lemon, we then go in with some sugar syrup. Now you can make your own, and we have tried this in previous years, haven't we? Mm. Nearly stuck our mouths <laughs> together and burnt our fingers off. Oh, what a nice! It's very hot. hot. Yeah, it might be very, very hot. Ah, oh, it's like yeah. my blue burn all over again. Uh huh. There we are. <laughs> I got the quantities wrong. When you make sugar syrup, you do two to one ratio, so two parts water, one part sugar. I did equal, and it made. It was very gloopy. Toffee. <laughs> yeah. So you're going in with there just we go. half of what you put in a cognac. Exactly that, yeah. So it's essentially nearly one measure. Lovely. One. Two measures of the cognac. So in we go with that. Perfect. Lovely stuff. And then we give it a good shake over some ice. Got my mini shaker on the go. I was fearful that he wasn't going to put the cap on there and he was going to yeah. go for it. And I thought, no! <laughs> Lovely stuff. And then... I've got my very fancy <laughs> plastic flutes. <laughs> Lovely stuff. For us. These are great. Good for um, picnics as well. Yeah, really handy. On a walk, maybe? Yeah. We did both wash our hands before filming, just yes, so you guys we, know. We're anti vax and good to go. Keeping it safe. And then you just divide that up between your two flutes. There oh, we are. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Yeah, it comes out fab, doesn't it? Gorgeous. And it's got colour. a nice, slight, sort of syrupy texture going on, hasn't it? Fab. Look at that. Which is lovely. 
and then we'll get the Prosecco on the go. So, when we finish filming, by the way, we're going to be having a woodland party. So all of this is going to get consumed. All the rubbish will be coming home with us. Santa's getting involved. Yeah, and, and we are going to polish off the lot. <laughs> we'll be here till dusk, <laughs> boozing. Right, so. Oh, lovely. There we are. Just sling that in? Yeah, so you just top it up. Perfect. This is why I love cocktails around this time of year, because no one wants a faff. No one wants to stress about, you know, if you've got guests or whoever you've got coming around, you've got a family full of kids, you want to have a cocktail, you can't be bothered with slicing and all that stuff, you just want to just get yeah. it in a glass and enjoy it, so brilliant. So you could make up this sort of syrup cognac mix in a jug, like he was saying. Such a good idea. Pour it a bit in each glass, yeah. pop your Prosecco, fill them all up, you're good Done. to go. I mean, I know we're not hosting for many people, yeah. but you're good to go for yourself. Keep going back, grab yourself <laughs> another glass, enjoy yourself. That's a great idea. Right then, yeah. so... Let me just pop this on the tray. I love oh. the fact that we're serving to the... It's like we're on the aeroplane. It is, Anything it? from the trolley, sir? Anything from the trolley, I'll have one of those um, there we are. lovely cognac cocktails. Thank you very much. I did forget the raspberries. You meant to pop a little raspberry on it, so we'll oh, imagine that. Oh, that's all right. It's yeah. fine. All right, cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Merry Christmas, Chin, chin. Merry Christmas. Cheers, Merry Christmas, guys. everyone. Oh, that's lovely. Are we a fan? I love a cognac. It's good, isn't it? That's oh, it's like festive in a glass. And, and it tastes guys. it tastes quite classy to me. Do you know what I mean? It's a very classy cocktail. It really does, doesn't it? I think cognac is one of those things, isn't it? Yeah. You just imagine like a guy like swirling it in like a leather chair. Yeah. Like this in a cocktail that makes it a bit more modern, but it's um that's gorgeous. The light. Well I'm sorry, guys. I know that it's yeah. <laughs> we're it's a working bit, with what we can here. So um <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're grand. I feel like the lighting is matching my mood which is a bit squiffy. <laughs> that's delicious, well done. Mm. Really big fan of that. Oh, I love that. That's fantastic, mate. Well I love that and you. I love that. Right, we're gonna go in for the final cocktail now. As I said, it's a classic take on the um, Negroni Spagliato. The Negroni is classically a strong drink. It is, it is. So we kind of weaken it out with, well, I mean, still weaken with alcohol, but what I mean is it's, it's <laughs> We weaken not... it down with alcohol. I love that. Because traditionally in a Negroni, you'd use gin, Campari, and Vermouth. Yeah, so it's super strong, isn't it? It's super yeah. strong. Like, you have one of those, and you're well on your way. Whereas yeah. this is kind of weakened down a little bit. You serve it on ice with Prosecco. So it's good. Lovely. Um, right, so what we're going to go in with first is... I think someone's called the police and said there's two naughty elves boozing in the woods. Are we and they're coming for us. We ain't got anything here, so you know, yeah. it's fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> you just see the trays flip and us leg it. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're going to start off with 50 ml of Campari now. I'm loving your measure. Thank you. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's um, from French Connection. So, so really, good. 50 ml of Campari, which I know it does sound like a lot, but you want it to taste like Campari. You don't want any like wishy-washy flavours. So, yeah. just added 50 ml in there. Oh. And then, what we're going to go in with now is Martini Rosso. If you just have a regular Martini, by all means, sling that in as well. Martini Rosso, it's just a nod to the, to the lovely red colours of Christmas. So we're going to do 25 ml of that, so we don't need as much of the Campari. So it's going to bash that in. Um, I just love martini. I think it's such a classic. Um, yeah. So yeah, 50, uh, sorry, 25 mil of the martini Rosso. Hello. <laughs> so we're just gonna give that a nice little stir like that. Cranberries would be gorgeous in this. Um, pomegranate seeds. Basically, anything you've got lying around in your um, fridge, sling it in. Oh, what a bit of jamage in this one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're good. All is well. All is well. So yeah, let's give that a bit of a stir. It's a nice glass. It is. Um, where's that from? West Elm. And then we're going to just basically top it up with Prosecco. We're not going to go to the top because it kind of just doesn't need us. But, so we're just going to pop about that much in. Ideally, like I say, we would have this with ice, but we are in the wilderness and ice would have melted. So, yeah. Like, like snowman. Yeah. And we're cool enough out here. We are. <laughs> Hence the jackets. <laughs> yeah. Right, can't feel my feet, can't feel my hands. No, likewise. Okay, so, let's give that a quick stir. All oh, these look very festive it indeed. Is. Like I say, ice would have been better, but hey ho, we're making the most of it. Right, I'm gonna take that one off, and that one then there. Right, sir, that is your Negroni Spagliata. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome, sir. Cheers. Absolute pleasure. Right. Cheers, everyone. Chin chin, bottom up, Merry Christmas, and have a lovely one. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's oh good. that's lovely. It's nice, isn't it? It's quite festive. It is very festive. The, um, the Martini Rosso gives it a lovely, like, mm. it's quite hard to describe, but I like it. Yeah. And like I say, you can do this in a really big picture um, and just sling your Prosecco in as and when. Yeah. And you're absolutely laughing. Oh, it looks very, very festive as well. The colour on that is beautiful. Also nice if you've got some cinnamon sticks lying around, pop them in as well yeah. and give it a lovely spice. But um, it's quite strong. 
but it's written the ice does help water it down. Mm. Yes, imagine that over ice. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. That's the idea. Lovely. It's quite medicinal as well. It's gorgeous. Big fan of that. Right? Ooh. Are we imagine done, this sir? by the open fire. Don't chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Mm -hmm. Right, should we rate them? Campari What's your favourite? <laughs> I would honestly, I'm not just saying this, I think your cognac is delightful. I'm a big fan of that as well. I think that's fantastic. I think this is my second favourite. Oh nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is really lovely, but it's I like all of them. Yeah. And this, this one's good to get a party started. It is. It's quite sweet. It's yeah. going to be a crowd pleaser. The sweetness of that gives mm. you a little boost. Mm. It does. You've it been does. slagging, done Christmas shopping or you're wrapping. Well, this is it. And you can just top it with a Prosecco if you need to. Keep going. It's strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's breakfast time. Here we are. <laughs> Dinner. We're good to go. Yeah, we all film this before midday. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's um, 6.30 a.m. <laughs> right, so we'll just carry on till I, dusk. I was about to see it, guys. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the party starts. Christmas starts right here. <laughs> now the end it in the bush. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the cocktails. Yeah, all of the um, recipes will be linked down below. Let us know which one you like the sound of, and if you try any, let us know how you get on with them and tag us in any photos on Instagram as well. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Carrington, Luke Catlow, yeah. love to see you over there. And head over to Luke's channel now where we're going to be doing some Christmas gift wrapping hacks for you, if I can speak. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Steady on now, I've been mixing my drinks. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. That was good fun, wasn't it? Thank you for having me. It's been lovely. Oh yeah, we got the tradition back once again. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'm glad we managed to do it. Yeah, and it's just been a pleasure to be able to do this, obviously, outdoors and as safe as we possibly can yeah. keep it as well. Really so nice. So maybe you might be having an outdoor gathering with somebody this year as well. So mm -hmm. if you do, Merry Christmas and enjoy that as well. Absolutely. It's been good fun, hasn't it? It has, yeah. it really has. Merry Christmas, guys. Thank you so Merry much Christmas. for watching. Have a lovely one wherever you are and whoever you're spending it with. Yeah. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm going for two. Mm. Oh, you're Oh, it's a bit of a ride, isn't it? I love them all. <laughs> <laughs>